Hello, friends and fams. We've got an ADVOU battle. Probably the best one we are likely to see for some weeks. We've got McMegan facing against Veteran in Love. And with me, I've got two fine gentlemen today. Introduce yourselves, fellas. I'm Danilo. Um, one of the greatest advances of all time. In his own mind, anyway. And then we have Badass. Badass, you fucking... <sighs> anyway. So it looks like Badass AFK. You don't need him. Mm-hmm. We don't need him. Uh, what do you think about these leads? No, hey, Kenan Mance. Yes, badass. Oh, you. Sorry, I'll quickly introduce myself. Uh, I'm, I'm badass, and I'm better than Danilo at every facet of existence. That's all I need to know. All right, let's get to the battle, guys. It's pretty yes. true. Mance has to run from Kuhn, and we see a Calm Mind. We see a Bliss. So I really hope we don't just see a lead Calm Mind Kuhn sweep, because that would really suck. And uh, depending on what the Kuhn set is, it can beat Blissey. Lead sub Lead, lead kind of implies sub CM. Or offensive, game. yeah. Because you don't really see defensive coon period very much anymore because of the rest talk yeah. mechanics. And rest coon period just is kind of ass. Alright, so yeah. McMegan's using some fucking uh, CM spam. Definitely yeah. a CM team. Whenever I see he's lead sweet can, lead offensive sweet can, I'm like, alright, CM team. And got Poyen too, which is the best with we'll C counter yeah. that's toxic. Yeah, and uh, so it just shits all over Bliss, and it can probably bring out something like Fortress, which Vil would love to have. Just sit on P2 and get a bunch of spikes. Hey, there's Fortress. And I stop, think stop, stop. I think McMegan should be a little more aggressive when facing a stall team like this. You really don't want to give it breathing room, and P2 for a stall team is just like, gimme. I want to face this thing. I want to spike all over it. Even if he's got like HP fire or something, the spike is a big deal. Yeah. It's not a huge deal, but it, it is a big deal. It's a huge deal if Phil has T-Tar. Exactly, because uh, then Doug Trio can't switch into CB Rockslide. And other things. There's Jirachi threatening out Fortress. Now, I think uh, either McMegan's Coon does not beat Blissey. Like, Sub Calm Mind Roar beats every Blissey, pretty much, outside of Sand. But, uh, Wish Calm Mind Blissey... Alright. I guess he's thinking maybe it's, uh... Wish Call Mine. I feel like it's Super Rachi. I think it's Super Rachi too, but he's, Rachi. he's going to Celebi because Rachi. Celebi against offensive Call Minders just kind of gets overrun. So it's a good initial scout and it can get Leech Seed on it and shit. And couple that with the fact that Dugtrio is lurking, ready to, you know, destroy it. So it's a good initial look in case it is defensive. It is defensive. It has Fire Punch, but it is defensive. Wish Call Mine Psychic Fire Punch is likely. It's fast. Yeah, it's faster. Surely well, that's uh, so psychic. A, yeah, and uh, Blissey doesn't want to come into Wish Call Mine Rachi because that would just be a mess. And if he can lure in the Dug Trio and do something about it, and he has a T Tar in the back, then he can totally shut down Rachi and mess with uh, Celebi and Raikou as well, and Porygon too. Crippling Porygon too is good with uh, leftovers recovery and such. If I'm Vill here, I just kind of write down McMegan's team. Because there's not like very many things that he can have. He's, gonna, he's probably going to have Gengar or, or Reggie Ice. He needs some sort of boomer. He's got to have Reggie Ice, I said. There's Reggie and Ice. Actually, honestly, two boomers when you're, you're so fucking weak to Blissey. Yeah, but he probably has Celebi Dugtrio. That's what I think his team is. So he's um, running a sub-seed Celebi with spikes, which has never really, I don't want to say it's never been done before, but it's really, really rare. I don't think I've seen it what? No, very dude. much at all. Wait, no, dude. Kevin Garrett. Classic Kevin Garrett team. Remember the sub pass? Classic. Classic. Yeah. Classic. I don't think Classic. he used, I think he just used standard Calm Mind Leech. I don't think he had a... What team thought that they used a uh, sub pass Leech with Doug Trio and Skarman Man? That was what Blue Wind used against him. The oh, okay. Team. I'm mixing up the teams then. Yeah, it didn't have spikes. Anyway, so sub seed Celebi is annoying as fuck. Because uh, Dugtrio can't trap it, because it's just going to spam sub for a while. And whenever it feels like, it can baton pass to scout a switch. Or just, you know, make sure he's staying in. And baton just spam. pass means he can't be focus punched. If I'm Vil here, I just spam sub. Because if you spam sub, you're not going to get H Your 4 Atrus is not going to get HP fired. And your Bliss is not going to get boomed on. And those are two really key Pokemon in this matchup. I agree. And, yeah, so, just and keep spam sub here. Plus, even, because you can sub a lot, because uh, mm -hmm. you're getting HP back from Leech Seed, but even then, you can recover in Reggie Ice's face, and that's one of the things I dislike about Reggie Ice sometimes. It just sort of, you know, Celebi recovering in its face, I know it's Celebi, but come on, this is Stab Ice Beam with offensive investment. That's obnoxious. Yeah, McWagon doesn't have a, a very good matchup here. I kind of dislike, um, uh, pure offensive Celebi. I think the Baton Pass hits are great, but I think that 
the defensive leech sets, or just leech sets in general, have sort of been forgotten in ADB as everything's gotten more and more offensive. And leech and, seed is so good. Oh yeah, it's amazing. So good. And Celebi especially. When I started to play ADB, yeah, when I started to play ADB, I made sure I had a Celebi on like every team just so I could switch into other Celebi's leech seed. <laughs> That's how much of a force it is. Or it used to be, but I think it's very good to see it uh, in action here. Especially because sub seed with spikes. <laughs> Can follow battle hard? Sorry, All mothers are chicken. Sorry, sorry about that. Danilo's no. in, Danilo's in uh, Brazil. I almost said Portugal. But um, I think sub seed with spikes is great. And I think it's something McMegan once told me about. Because, uh, as you know, sub seeding forces a lot of switches. This is not a novel tactic, of course, but you don't know. Usually you see uh, sub seed Celebi on Call Mine teams. Right. Or not, not Call Mine teams, I'm sorry, Trap teams. And um, so you can sort of switch around a lot, and uh, with spikes it becomes more of a hassle. So there we see Raikou. So uh, a lot of Pokemon revealed already, and so the last he can. You really gotta have a Doug, no? I don't like that play by Bill there. You just baton passing me something. I think he might have feared Roar or something, but I mean he's baton passing a sub to fucking Blissey. <laughs> I yeah. don't see this ending well for me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you see a Blissey behind a sub? Because yeah, again, sub, sub has Celebi, and the often uh, the rarer sub has Zapdos. You know, you generally don't see that on a stall team like this. So with spikes, it just becomes so much more dangerous. And you get a hilarious scenario like this. Like Jirachi comes yes, in, like, but it takes the anything. spike. It, okay, it's not going to get seismic tossed, but. He can just uh, stay in here and just sort of cause havoc. And McMegan's in a rough spot because Celebi can come in to harass the Jirachi. Honestly, but... he can send the, the Doug now, no? Who? Um, Bill? Bill. I don't think he has a Doug. Do you think he has a Doug? Um, Usually with sub pass Celebi, oh, no. it's... Like, it is it's famous for sure. trapping, but... Uh, I feel like he kind of just takes advantage of Skarm switch-ins and such with Fortress. Actually, yeah, I don't think he has Doug, because he needs a Pursuiter and he needs a Water. He could be HP Ghost Fortress. That's a terrible setup. It, 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 it's this. a thing. So it's like, because I don't like running Pursuit Tar very much, so it lets you run Fortress without having to run Pursuit. Which is nice sometimes. Yeah. I don't. I just don't trust it. Trust, trust oh, it. It, is, it is Wish. So, I would Baton Pass. I think I Baton Pass here, if I'm Vil. Um... If I'm Vil right now, I want to put more offense. I want like one more layer of spikes because I feel like pretty confident. Versus... Yeah, you can switch around pretty well with one or maybe two layers of spikes. Three it starts to get hard, but I think I baton pass because I don't want to leech seed and hit uh, nail Doug and that's true, and then that's die. True. And if I sub on fire punch, then um, it's if you sub fire punch, sticky. you can just recover next turn. Yeah, but then Doug's in. Oh, okay, he uh, leech seeded. Oh, and now. You know, uh, Baton passing out would have. I guess he has a really rough time with this Jirachi should uh, Celebi go down. So, McMegan will really want to take advantage of that with the uh, Doug Trio. But I think now he passes to Bliss. I don't know um, what the Calm Mind was for. I mean, perhaps he's got enough investment to, like. Because um, you know how Jirachi tends to run physical defense. And I know some of them just run a lot of defense, but with a modest nature to hit harder against like other Jirachis and Metagrosses with Fire Punch and such, or Elements on the Switch with Psychic, but Baton passing here, so if he's strong enough, I don't think it'll break the sub, and it's Leech, so a Leeched Jirachi facing a Calm Mind Blissey behind a sub, even with the plus two Calm Mind advantage, I don't see it ending well for McMegan, and I yeah. think he's really got to get that Doug Trio into the Celebi, because his la it's almost certainly his last, unless he is running Calm Mind without Doug Trio. And in which case the last would be an offensive Celebi. Which is probably the case, seeing as how he's struggling to switch into the Leech Seed. Hmm. If I was McMegan, I have two pressure mods. I'm switching, why aren't he switching his Suicune and his Raikou into these uh, Leech Seeds? Because then, even if he doesn't have the Trio, he can nullify the Celebi in the long game. That because is it doesn't, very Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, Vil is putting a lot of emphasis on getting an extra layer of spikes up. That is a very good point. Well, I guess they can't switch in forever. Because they true. don't have recovery and their spikes down, but at the same time, it's yeah, a flaw. Especially because that's, that's a lot of damage. I, yeah. I think um, Raikou is the one you want to switch in there more because Raikou, I think, is less likely to be very useful. Whereas Suicune yeah. is eternally threatening. 
Oh, yeah. it actually broke the sub. That's incredible. So, uh, another interesting question is, what do you think that Salamence set is? It could that be guy. Wish. It could be DD. Like, Wish is my immediate instinct. DD, I guess, could kind of make sense. I would like CV because I really like Choice Band Mance with spikes. Like, it's just yeah. unbelievably hard to switch into. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good for it. Well, he still has two flying resists, but that's still helpful. Yeah, and it's uh, just a good way for a stall team to just put a hit on something and, you know, clamp down the late game, put the other guy in the back foot. Because on the back foot uh, is where your defensive pokes come in on the wall dudes and start causing havoc. You know, like... Uh, Blissey or Celebi or Fortress would love to come in on the P2 that's barely shrugging off CB Men's HP flying. Yeah. There's that's Wish, really there's Calm Mind. Are we gonna get into CM War this early? I mean... I mean, yeah, he ha I don't know what else McGregor can do, because he's not really... He has to get rid of Blissey somehow. I don't think... Uh, I mean, Sub Calm Mind Rachi... Er, Sub Calm Mind. Wish Calm Mind Rachi could win this war, but I don't think so when it's leached. Especially because yeah. uh, it's already burned... Okay, it's all, only two wishes. I tend to look at uh, how many, p how much PP a Pokemon is used a little too quickly, but at the same time, he is not going to be sticking around forever. But then again, this is uh, McMega. Maybe you can pull out some McMega luck. Eh, I, I mean, Spinef drops are to be expected, but Blissey can just call mine. He would need, like, a he bunch needs of crits. A bunch of crits. Yeah, and especially because Blissey's about to start peppering it with Thunderbolts. Yeah. So, I am not horribly confident in... Well, uh, Vil... He still has the boom, though. Like, if, even if uh, Jirachi loses his war, he can threaten the Blissey out, so it's not like it's... Yeah, but it. he's threatening the Blissey out, and... Well, because we don't the only know thing if that threatens has... Blissey. Huh? How's he gonna threaten it out again? If this, boom, if this Jirachi loses the CM war. Yes, if, maybe... No, I mean, I, I, after that, like... Oh. Reg is have... not known for its longevity. That's true. But if he has more guns, he has toxic. Well, uh, another reason those spikes are really important is because now Blissey has a guaranteed kill on Dugtrio with Ice Beam. Yeah. So... I, don't like I mean, I suppose Regice, he might not have another good switch into it if it's HP Fire, which would annoy Fortress, which then again doesn't really do much to it anyway, outside of Toxic, which is kind of rare. So, he might struggle with it for a turn or two, but Regi's Boom is really weak. The only thing is that Regi's Boom will let Dugtrio finish it off. But we don't even know um, Bill's last two. We need, we know it's going to be a T-Tar and Arrow counter. And the rest is sort of up for grabs. I mean, he probably didn't expect to face defense, because, you know, with the sleep talk mechanics and ADV's uh, nature over the last few years, it's just gotten more and more offensive. And maybe McMegan thought, you know, with these uh, fucking changes, then... I'm probably not going to see stall, especially because in World Cup, Vil used a lot of offense. Uh, yeah. Like, um, you know that one team he has with the uh, special attacker, with the physical attackers? Time out, time out, time out. Yeah. For <laughs> oh, he got a Thunderbolt pair. Yeah. That's actually. Oh, never mind. So, that changes a lot. That, uh, I was going to say that if it's CB Mens, which I kind of don't think it is, but it could probably threaten out the Rachi afterwards if it was, um, if it did somehow get by the Bliss. A para is amazing because now Blissey goes first, yeah. and uh, Jirachi can yeah, full para, like which is obviously a big thing. He has burned through four wishes now. Yeah, when you're FP, this is this is just so much tilted in Vil's favor now. Yeah, full para <laughs> is honestly yeah. ridiculous. You know, I kind of feel like I would throw out an ice beam here because I kind of feel like he might go Dugtrio, like just out of desperation. Yep, there that's you true. Go. But because at, at, at the same time, an ice beam crit would still kind of do a lot. But I guess if you're looking for that crit, then... Because he's, still, he's still staying at full health, or 88% every turn, because of the Leech Seed. Yeah. I don't, what is, uh, I don't really don't like this Rekvegan team. <laughs> I think, um... Surely his Suicune or Raikou have Roar. So, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be Crown. I don't think he's using Sub-CM sub Roar Raikou. So Suicune... Or at least I hope not. Sub-CM Roar Suicune is a thing. Raikou, not so much. Yeah, because mono water coverage is... You can plow through stuff at plus three. Oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. Just hydro pump. All right, McTregan uses the move for the first time in, like, ten turns. Well, he, he's been <laughs> just... Getting, he's, he's just been wishing and full paralyzing every other turn. This is how you yeah. lose a CM war, is by just perpetually... Oh, then yeah. there's... And there's the 6-0. <laughs> well, he's no, got Dugtrio. No, no, because... Um, well, even though Dugtrio hits it hard now, 
then it doesn't kill. Oh, well, the burn it, though. Yeah, but even after the you burn, then dog. he's going to heal on uh, Porygon two later, and it, that'll be that. No, it's definitely gonna die. Well, I think if it's mm. bold, then it could live plus the burn. Yeah, depends on the spread. Uh, a lot of people like to use, myself included, special attack pussy. Just so you don't hit like a little bitch. Oh, all the I, time. I prefer uh, special attack Blissey too. I just all right, prefer so it lives. On it. There goes Doug Trio. I think it lives. It, it it's gonna live with like two percent. Oh yeah, it should definitely. Yeah. And, and now the lack of Sandstorm. If Vil has a T Tar, he should definitely avoid sending it in. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, so he can I guess... switch in and heal. So this is a question of can make Megan now bust through with. With his Raikou and his Well, as we have here. seen, then the Celebi is decently fast, so it can yeah, annoy but the, the Celebi. Yeah, the Celebi straight loses to Raikou. It oh, Raikou, Raikou, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking more maybe. Suicune. If I'm, if I'm, carry sub. Hmm? If I'm Vil here, I just like make some double switches and try to get Blitzed to 20%, and then... Something like that, yeah. If his if Fortress has Explosion, then that would be really good. Yeah, Fortress Explosion would be sick. And if Fortress has EQ, you can like take a Thunderbolt and spec right here, if need be. So, Vil is definitely in the direct. You know what would be hilarious? If Raikou Thunderbolt didn't do 2% to the Blissey because it's at plus 6. Oh, that'd be really <laughs> That would be hilarious. I mean, think about it. It's a this plus might, 6. Yeah, you should, if Vil should calc this. this, might, might, this might not, yeah. Someone run that calc. I can't open it, but that would be someone really funny. Raikou Thunderbolt to plus 6 Blissey. Uh. I'm not counting this actually. I'll see if I can do it in time. Yeah, if this doesn't kill us. I mean, surely Bill's last. I mean, I have a hard time imagining two pokes that neither of them could at all deal with Raikou. Because when you use Blissey, you gotta be uh, prepared for other Raikou shit. So if this is if this Raikou is modest, max special attack it is forty five percent. But it's, I'm not modest. So let's say it's. A neutral nature, max special attack? Surely it's neutral. Yeah, this still does 45%. Um, what do- I don't know. It's probably gonna kill. Oh, I, I mean, if Raikou couldn't do 3%, then, you know- Okay, there's Swampert. Oh, that's rough. I guess he sort of had to, uh, fucking, uh, T-Bolt there. But now he can live in HP Grass and kill- Now you go to Blissey. Phil, go to Blissey right now. Please, go to Blissey right now. Well, why wouldn't he just fire off the Earthquake? Because he gets an extra 6% on, on Blissey right now. But, uh, he might sub, and then he's in a really bad spot. Oh, true. <laughs> well, like, I'm if he on. subs it's as a... Vilgo's Blissey, and he gets Plus it, then T-Ball still kills, and he can call mine on Swampert so HP Grass kills. I think he should just take advantage of the fact that Swampert's yeah. still alive, or at full, and HP Grass kills. Yeah, definitely Earthquake. So, yeah, uh, Pert, and I guess that T-Tar last. And I generally don't like Bill's style of team uh, here because I really don't like losing to trap teams. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's doing the job, so... It's a good pick, because McMegan is not really a guy who tends to run trap. I mean, he has in tour in the past. Yeah, he has run trap in the past. Yeah, yeah, like in regular season tour when ADV was still in the thing. But, like, in big games, how many times can you remember a big game where McMegan said, I'm bringing a trap team? Yeah, he's, that's not, he's not about the life. It's, it's sort of, uh, yes, very funny, trap life, I know. Uh, trap life, two <laughs> mistresses, and a girlfriend. But, uh, like, in a big game, it's just, and I mean, I know how he feels. I, too, would not probably bring it to a big game because uh, it's just... I feel like it relies on, it doesn't rely on chance, but it's just a little riskier and doesn't have uh, too much backbone or plan Bs, you know what I mean? You better not pick me up because see, I'm only running trap. Trap teams are great, they're just not my style, man, I know you like them. There's Coon, takes the Earthquake, and we know Selby is faster, so unless... Do we know that? Yeah, well, it's faster than Jirachi. It might not be faster than, this could be faster. It, it, yes, but Subseed Selby generally runs a lot of speed, it runs a lot of speed for like, uh, neutral true. Salamence, so... Yeah. Unless this is like, I mean, he could just probably stay in an earthquake at once or twice. Because do you really think a water move is the thing on McMegan's mind right now? It's probably not going to water move. Um, he's probably going to use yeah. I mean, he does. Roast. He only three KOs with earthquake at this point. Well, Suicune probably two KOs with Calm Mind Hydro, but. Um, I mean, you oh, gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with the pert. Depending on Vivil's last, we're, we're pretty sure it's a tar. But if it's not a tar, if it's something that has trouble with Raikou, you really can't. If it is tar, then that means the Doug thing was even bigger because 
uh, Doug is how you get rid of tar for Reggie Ice to bust through and all that. There's Calm Mind. Whose leftovers are going first? Celebi's leftovers go first, so no chance of Suicune subbing there. Oh, shit. There's, That's uh, a strong dog. dog. That is modest. Dude, I love modest Suicune. It is amazing. That was a really bad freeze. <laughs> that, that is not a really bad freeze, yes. here. Well, what he can do is sack Fortress or something. Yeah, that's And what I'm then, um, plus he can go to Blissey to get HP and the Leech. And then, like, Ooh. sack Salamence yeah. or something. And then Blissey again. And, Wins. And then Blissey is, you know, up and ready to go. So unless this has... I mean, surely he has a phasing move somewhere. So if this does end up being rest, then he uh, phases it while resting. And I don't think it's rest, because Modest Max Special Attack Suicune does not run rest. I mean, I've seen it once, I think. So, and my, yeah. I, I do love Modest Suicune. There was a point where I was using Modest Suicune on every single team. It just hits so goddamn hard. I like the uh, idea of sacking for Richard's getting in and getting in Blissey. Yeah. Plus, I mean, worst case scenario, you just sub with Celebi. Because, I mean, you can, uh... Whatchamacallit, you can't recover on it, because it just hits too damn hard. Yeah, you can, you can sub on it, yeah, it's another guy, yeah. So Ville definitely has options, even though he's Plus, put in uh, if it is position. Wishments, then it can protect. Although, protecting for Leech Seed outside of Sand is generally not the greatest idea. But he's got yeah, Protect on that, like... assumedly Protect on Swamp Hurt, and uh, so he can play around it. I mean, it could dent him, but I think he will probably escape from this. However, McMegan probably just unleashes Hydro Pump right now. And yeah, that's see if he has CB Mens, C, CB Mens wouldn't be the worst play here. If he ice beams, all right, cool. Your Mens wasn't that big in the matchup. He's got a fucking P2. Then you go to your Blissey. I think CB Mens would actually be better each. here because you could. Yeah, CB Mens is good. It, it would if, finish. I mean, if it's Wish Mens, I, I probably would not go to Mens. Yeah, but uh, either Salomon set and does something. And I mean, if it's DD, then you know, uh, then you still hit it hard and you hit it first, so it's something. Plus, you can always rock slide flinch it as. You know, I was going to say that, you know, McMegan might be so desperate to kill the Blissey that he might just rock slide flinch it. But, Earthquake, I think I sort of uh, underestimated Doug Trio, or I probably overestimated Blissey, because people ramp out that special attack. And I like to run, when I do run Blissey, I pump it with HP, and it's bold too. So, Doug Trio Earthquake comes up a lot shorter than that. But, uh, I forget, P this is Calm Mind too, I don't like Calm Mind Blissey that much. Will, please sack for Fortress and go to Blissey. Oh man, if Vil timed out, that'd be too funny. That that would be masterpiece of comedy. Um, you know what else he might do? He just might. Oh no! No, not like this. Not oh, like this. Ow! That fucking oh. stung. No! What did you do? Oh. Well, actually, no. He can recover once, but like. Well, you could go to Blissey, and if it gets healthy, you win the fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Pert was sort of a non-thing, but like. It was good oh, for Raikou. Well, Raikou. well yeah, no, but he Raikou probably can, has a swamp it. hurt, so. Recover. Ice beam. God oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so fucking strong. I definitely should have subbed there. Yeah, what the hell yeah. are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, homie? Go. You should have went to Fortress. Ah! It's okay. Ah! The no, crit on swamp hurt kind of was ass, too. Yeah, yeah McCrigan's getting everything he needs this game. Well, I mean, he did get T-Bolt paired and then crit, but that was kind of an uphill battle, so... And he should crit, have also crit, done for that one. Uh, I suppose he also, he also got, like, the Fire Punch burn on the first try, so we'll call that kind of even. Oh, he switched yeah, out! Well, now Raikou is kind of a problem. Oh, now he... No, it's not. He can pass No, if he's he HP Ice, pass. if he's HP Ice, then he breaks the sub, but Blissey still gets HP. But if it's not HP Ice, then Blissey gets the sub and soft boil probably, that game. I would say it's probably HP Ice because he didn't grasp the Swamper, but grasping the Swamper would have been bad. So yeah, it, it would have, really... because uh, he was out of range. Plus, with that team, with uh, Suicune, P2, Regiice, I think you generally go with the Swamper killer there. I mean, it's not even like he's Flygon weak, either. So, he's got P2 to just destroy it. So he doesn't even have to waste his water on it, like uh, a lot of teams would. And, uh, Gengar also would make it, probably use HP Grass. If he had a Gengar, rather. Um, I think, I think Mega wouldn't have swapped in Raikou if it wasn't, if it wasn't HP Ice. Because he knew that the sub was coming. That is a good point. I think, well, I think he's Vil taking his time. Vil appears to be the one who's moved. He should recover here. Hmm? Vil should recover? I, 
Yeah, I mean, if he passes out to Blissey, now your Selby's at 15 and your Blissey's still in T-Bolt range. Right. Well, that's I not doubt he's not going to sub here. He's got to use H he's got to use HP ice. Well, then there's the um, problem of does he call mind on recover and then yeah oh there's call mind on recover. No, he baton passed to Blissey. Yeah. I guess he figured there's no um, there's no uh, HP ice on that team. So he that was a good read on Bill's end. But I guess. Uh, Ice Beam, like, made another... Okay, that probably broke the sub, but... Man, yeah, that this, this is why I don't like Call Mind Blissey. I much prefer toxicing things, yeah. or T-waving, and Call Mind Blissey is just begging for trouble. It's 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 a decent it's a decent win con against certain teams. Yeah, yeah against CM Spam, you're gonna want the toxic one. I, I, yeah, I just don't like Call Mind in general. Uh, if he has T-Tar... Well, no, he can't switch it into plus one T-Bolts. And it probably can't even touch Raikou anyway. Do you think he has a phaser? I mean... Roar, Tar is a possibility, but like... Nah, no, we're just going straight into the CM War. Another one. Cool. Another one. Another, Another one. one. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh... I don't know, dude. McMegan Luck losing losing two CM Wars in one game. Is that possible? Doesn't that break game mechanics for McMegan? <laughs> the questions. Um, does McMegan have sub? Oh, he's probably- No, does he, he doesn't! Roar? He does have sub. He used Wait. it earlier. Oh, he's yeah, he used it. sub. I, I so, kind of hope that he sub Roar. That would be amazing, but I, McMegan, I highly McMegan wins. If McMegan has good AVs, he doesn't get killed by, um, Ice Beam. Well, he remember, he also he has- He sub broken by Ice Beam. Remember, he also, uh, has pressure for the Ice Beam. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. But he has like, he's only used one Ice Beam so far. And I guess he mm -hmm. could also spam T-Bolt, so... Yeah, he, has, he, had, he has eight Ice Beams left. And, uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, eight Ice Beams. Yeah, you're right, Danilo. If he has, if he has good EVs. Yeah, if he has uh, the Danilo EVs, then... Okay, T-Bolt... Well... Yes, Danilo. Bill, the perk kill mattered, but it wouldn't have mattered so much if you weren't if you weren't dumb about it. Yeah. Um... Bill is saying that the perk kill did matter. Uh... Shoots down to Fortress. Uh. Yeah, Fortress is kind of. Uh. Uh, Fortress, Fortress will set up more spikes on Porygon too. That's that's a big deal. Uh. And look, the idea was if you get Fortress in, sack it, and then Blissey gains leftovers recovery plus the leech seed. Yeah, I agree. So and you still have Swampert for Mike. So uh, it's on you, Bill. Well, remember <laughs> that while McMegan threatens to crit, so does Vill. Yeah, that's true. So it's it's not as one sided as if Raikou crits. I mean, uh, Raikou is faster, obviously, so it does have that threat. But and also, he doesn't probably want to sub because then he's weaker for taking the assault. You know, Ugh. but you know, all these T bolts, I mean, the crit chance adds up very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Bill's last is probably going to be a Lucario. What's just read the lobby chat? CBB's what, probably what you, right. Did he just use T bolt? Let's go to that. Maybe he just did the calx and realized I want to dude every single turn I'm just freaking out yeah <laughs> like I hate call my worst this is why I hate call mine blissey it's the worst it's also why I don't like psych up Reggie ice but that was always kind of ass so that yeah, is okay, so this, is yeah. Yeah. this is like a, this is making me like clench a, my nuts and I'm not even on either of the teams involved so I'm gonna get six hit KO for no six turns I reckon should be dead just don't even recover here, here, Vil. Another one. Vil making some low people juice. Does plus six Raikou crit kill? I mean, I would assume. Alright, so one more turn. And it kills. And Vil wins the game. What if he stops Vil? Oh! Oh, never mind. My nuts, my nuts clenched there for a while. So here's Red Eyes threatening boom. And if it has HP fire, then it can annoy the rest of the team. But if the last is Tyranitar... Yeah, the last is Tar, you're good. You're gravy. Vil, please go to your last. Actually, no, don't go to your last. I don't know, what, what do you do here? Sack something do you think and go to he your does last. Here? I think... Do you think go to last? I mean, surely he doesn't let the Regi psych up. That would be horrible. Yeah, that would be horrific. You don't, you don't stay in with Blitzy. That's not what you, that's I mean, now. it's not going to have psych up, but, like, if it just... If it, you let it happen, then that would be the stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. You know what I like? You definitely I, don't stay I like Psych Up Porygon too, actually. I've used it a couple times. I mean, it's a bad attempt at patching together a Calm Mind weakness, 
But, I mean, it, it is kind of funny. Especially because um, Porygon 2 with Toxic threatens out Blissey. And it natural cures on Blissey and Selby. So, yeah, but doesn't, doesn't superpower exist in advance? Yes. Only yes. Twash uses it, though. And it's kind of weak. I mean, yeah, if you've ever looked sucks. at Focus Punch Regi... Have existed. you ever looked at Focus Punch Regi's Calx? Uh, <laughs> they're depressing. Base 50 attack. That's the worst thing, Gengar. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really sad. What do you get? What do you guys think about substitute counter Regi's? Uh, so th there was this myth, like a little over a year ago, that sub counter Regi's would be amazing because you sub on the switch. If it's a special wall, you explode it. If it's like Metagross or T Char, then you safely counter the fuck out of them. Then you know, me and Danilo learned that you cannot counter from behind a sub. <laughs> There's Fortress. So, um, There's HP uh, Fire. Of course. I mean, that's why you should have gone to the last. Well, actually, we don't know exactly what the last is. I mean, we surely the last doesn't roll over and die to the uh, Regice. That would just be... I mean, if it's not Titar, then I would expect it to be another steal, like Jirachi or something. He, he's got his... Oh, well, uh, never mind. Uh... Mm -hmm. That was a pretty good move from McGwinkin's end, because... Uh, there was no way Blissey was staying in there. And there, also, there was no way that he was exploding there, so nice move on Bill's end. You know, get back inside his head. And, here's another thing. Bliss- Regice explosion doesn't kill. You notice who went first? Blissey. Regice oh, has to be quiet. So, unless he has thunder and paralyzes the thing, then yeah. he can soft boil out of explosion range. And then, I mean, he can still have problems with Suicune. Um... But, I mean, he can heal on Porygon too, and he still, I don't think Explosion plus Hydro Pump would come close. I mean, it would come decently uh, close, but it I would not know. kill. Regice is oh, so Blissey's faster. Yeah. Why is Blissey oh. faster? That's so funny. Dude, Regice, <laughs> is, Regice is slow. Yeah, plus, uh, the time. boom sets, they have to run quiet, because you don't want to cut into a defense. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, there's Porygon 2 to threaten it out with Toxic. That's a good move. Not uh, playing any boom games. So you should have done this go <laughs> sack, sack, sack your Fury and recover Selby and just finish finish this. You guys can just if uh, if Mens is uh, CB, you can just spam Brick Break too. I don't think it's Choice Man though. I, I really don't. Like Wish Mens mm. just makes sense, you know? Because notice how he gets destroyed by. Um, Bill is wisely throwing out some ice beams. I mean, I, even if he... I don't think P2 has Toxic, because I think if McMegan had Toxic, he wouldn't have done the CM war with Jirachi. He used Toxic uh, early. It's what let Fortress switch in on turn two. Yeah. Ah. He used Toxic. What's good with you? There's Ice Beam. So... That's nice. Okay. Maybe it's dual status. I really like that uh, P2 set. Oh, he goes back to Blissey to check for it. Nice. Looks like he's trying. Looks like he's trying to get another lair. Yeah, but uh, uh, Thunder but is a thunder. move that Triangles likes to use a lot because when you run Toxic P2, you kind of give up on Paralysis. So Thunder is his way of compensating for that. Plus, you hit you know things harder, and uh, it's a nice way to you know attack and threaten status at the same time. Although it's obviously not reliable. So well, with P2, it's like you, you're usually not in a situation where you need to hit Thunder. Yeah. That's why we're not using Blizzard. Yeah. Like, well, Blizzard doesn't have a 30%, but yeah, you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, so th that was nice on Vil's end earlier, just throwing out Ice Beam versus uh, P2, because he needs Thunderbolt to kill Regice, and, uh, although Regice is going to kill itself first, and Suicune. So he doesn't mind just wasting Ice Beams on it. I mean, wasting Soft Boil is another thing. He has 12 left. He's in good shape. So, I mean, I cannot fathom this last that is so deathly afraid of Regice and Porygon 2. I mean... You would think if it was Tar, it would be out by now. Okay? Yeah, I mean... I, I, it can't be Tar. At the same time, while Tar does inhibit Blissey's leftovers, it also speeds up McMegan's demise and forces him to make yeah. plays he doesn't want to, like, boom with Regice, because he cannot switch in and out as yeah. he pleases and gain, uh, gaining leftovers, like for Regice. And uh, it would just, you know, bring the clamps down a little quicker. But, I mean, uh, wanting Blissey's leftovers want attack Sand is also very though. valuable. I mean, Blissey's leftovers being attacked is also, you know, totally viable. Um, yeah, but when you're when you're fucking with all three of McMegan's last three mons, and only one of which has reliable recovery... Alright, so I, now we're going to have to see the last. Um, no? Because if he explodes here and it hits Blissey... Mm, I, trouble. Yeah. Oh man! No, not like this. Why are you risking this? Uh, I mean, there was no. I mean, exploding on a twenty-five percent fortress is a really hard move to make. But 
That's true. And yes, that but, like, with, if you're McMegan, you don't have many options. You have to play to you have to play the choke, basically. Well, I don't know about playing the choke, but just being aggressive. Yeah. I mean, well, how are you gonna how are you gonna win this if McMegan doesn't choke his Blissey? You away? mean Blissville, but yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, the last if uh, you probably would want Sand running because uh, Suicune coming in at fifty and 38 after spikes, and then being above 50 in a couple turns is not something you want. You want it to stay at 38. Especially because Selby can I leech think, it first. I think, I think Bill can see him up and just just get a kill here and just switch out before Toxic. I don't know about killing, but uh, he should save the Ice Beam. Or save the Thunderbolt, rather. He can definitely... Well, I, don't, I don't know why he's team ulting. Oh, that's why. And, uh, I mean, Porygon 2... Now he switches back to Blissey, and he natural cures, so... You mean switch back to Regice? Yeah, but I mean, that is still annoying because uh, Porygon 2 does have to switch in at really low health later. So, mm. I think now is the perfect time. Too. Now is the ideal time for T-Tar to switch in, and it's still not coming in. I didn't you attack. I think he's slowly trying to gain I mean, health on... Um, Ori, on Fori to get another layer of spikes on P2, but I just don't understand. I mean, surely, if you want that uh, piece of health, then you should just switch in on the Toxic, which he's pretty much forced to go for. There's him. Um, well, no, before, earlier he was throwing out Ice Beams and Thunders and shit, trying to catch the Fortress, and it was working. You know, he caught it on that Ice Beam. I think Vilb just doesn't have a last. <laughs> That's my he just, theory. He just brought five Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought five Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, maybe if his last is Gengar, which is totally plausible, then that wins yeah. the game once Regis explodes. And that's mm -hmm. sort of why he's playing Devil May Care with uh, Blissey. Like, if he explodes, the game's over. So, something like that. But, like, also Toxic Salamence. I mean, it'll be slower than uh, Kuhn, but if it gets in on P2, then, you know, something gets toxic and uh, that will speed the game up. But I thought the turn that after he parried and Red Jace was forced in, that was the time. Hey, there's oh, a there's boom. a Calm Mind. So now right, Suicune now... Hydro. Can you count Suicune Hydro to plus one? It doesn't kill. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm I think it up. does. I don't know. It's modest, man. 24% on a, no on a uh, plus zero. No way it kills. I'll count. I trust your counts. I, I mean, Modest Coon is fucking strong, but at Yeah, Modest Coon is one? strong. That's, that's a really hard, hard task. No way it kills. That's my that would, I mean, this isn't Raikou trying to kill a 3% yeah, 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 plus 6 nil, thing. This is 16%. Nil, you know, it 3% once more, What's Thunderbolt, that that's game. That's... Who knows, no Yeah, that, that has just been nice. Uh, and... I mean... Yeah, min damage on Hydro Pump is 15. No, max damage on Hydro Pump is 15. Right, so he needed a crit there. Yeah. Do you think it was uh, better to go for the Ice Beam Freeze, if anything? Yes. Um, yes. Because yeah. Hydro Pump has bad accuracy and, uh, whatchamacallit, um, crit rate is not good. And he could have yeah, also, also crit with Ice Beam. Mm -hmm. If P2 somehow sweeps, that would be, like, it's not going to happen, but... Maybe it's somehow sharpened. And it refuses to die. And Vil is going to take this one as Thunderbolt finishes what it is, off with a 2% Blissey. How often do you see what that? 2% Blissey finishing off the game. Blissey hung yeah, around. I don't know what his last is. I need to I'm look at him. Uh, the, yeah, how often do you see Blissey hanging around, you know, 2 3% and then coming back into the game to finish it off? That's the rarity. So, uh, that was the great one. I will put what we found out the last was in the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you to Danilo and Badass for joining me. I'll catch you all later.